Happy Friday and welcome back to Laurie and Billie Jean. Let's eat. As you guys may or may not know, this is my cooking show where each and every week I make one recipe out of my grandmother's cookbook. I then post the recipe below in the description in case you want to make it yourself. So this week we have a very special recipe called microwave chicken. I'm pretty sure this recipe's in here as a joke, but you know, we're not skipping recipes. We're not doing it. So we're making microwave chicken. I've kept my look casual today because I think that represents, you know, sweatpants laid back. That's what it means to make microwave chicken. Um, so this is for my Aunt B specifically, and apparently it was loved by many members of her family. I'm gonna show you what you need to make microwave chicken, and you just sit there and enjoy. All right, let's get started. Microwave chicken has two, that's right, just two ingredients. It has chicken breast, it has Lowry seasoned salt, and it has a microwave. So, what our directions say to do is to take chicken breast and place on a microwave dish, sprinkle heavily with Lowry seasoning, cook for about 10 minutes, then check. For good measure, sprinkle the other side and cook for another 10 minutes until capital W-E-L-L, -L, well done. This is a travesty and chicken should not be treated this way. So we're gonna do one breast because I want the rest of my chicken to taste good. So, <laughs> Here we go. Please watch me as I prepare and microwave chicken. So our microwave's just jamming over here, just working harder than any microwave has any right to work. I did just wanna let you know that I'm sure as I was uh, panning over the chicken, someone was thinking those are chicken tenders, you idiot, and they are. So, in preparation, I did dab all the water off of my chicken. I thought about putting pepper on it, but that seemed like cheating. So, we only did six minutes for one side because it's tenders, and I might have to flip them early. So, we'll see. I'm excited. Are you excited? So, here we go. This is our microwave chicken. This is our the beloved recipe of my cousins and my aunt, Aunt Brenda. And now we're gonna test it. We're gonna taste test it. So I did accidentally have a bite of this and my main takeaway was salt. Which is probably not shocking since Lowry's is in fact salt. But it's said to put a lot on. Hmm. Salt. Okay. Honestly, microwave and the chick microwave and the chicken wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. I didn't get it too well done, but it is all cooked all the way through. It just kind of looks sad. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it up tomorrow and put it on a salad. I think it's gonna be perfectly fine. So maybe use less Lowry seasoning salt. Microwave up your chicken and save it for your salad for lunch tomorrow. And that is thinking like a real chef. Thank you for tuning in. Next time, I think what I'm gonna do is make some haystacks because those are another winter treat that we like to have around my house. So we will get that going and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching and thank you for microwaving your chicken, Aunt B. Bye.